Hello again, this is Marvin Zachary with Card Magic 12, and today I'm going to be doing my final deck review in my 10 Weeks of Cards deck review series. And as you can already see, it's the Sleepers. This is one of my favorite decks that Illusionist has produced. Uh, it has a really cool trailer, but it's just really awesome, as you can see, you're seeing the back design here. So I'm going to go over to the card table and show you this deck. Okay, so this is the Sleepers deck from Illusionist.com, and since this is my favorite deck, I keep it in a box, and I also keep it in this really cool ghost stainless steel card clip that I got in a, I think it was a 12, 10, 10 deck bundle, I think, or 6 deck bundle, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, you'll, you'll find it on Illusionist, but yeah, it's really cool, it's designed for the ghost deck of cards, but I use it, you can use it for any deck. It really keeps your cards safe. It doesn't make sure that the box and the cards don't get bent. So if you carry it in like in a backpack or something where you don't have like a proper box, this is really good. But yep. So into the deck. A little background. Um, this is a Madison Presents deck, but he had help from a designer called Open Jones. So it'll say here an Open Jones design. And yeah, it's a really cool deck. I mean, like, this is probably my favorite deck of Illusionist's entire collection, with the exception of maybe one or two. But I haven't really compared it to other decks, but this is really, really good. So, into the box, here it says, on here, Sleepers Playing Cards. I really like the font that they use. And... It has, let's see, there's a bunch of things. And it's supposed to be like every card is sleeping except for the King of Diamonds. So here it has like three little stars, I guess. This is supposed to be maybe, oh, I get it now. These are supposed to be eyelids that are asleep and these are stars. Um, these are stars, the night sky, the sun, and the moon. Or the moon and the sun, I don't know and a skull with an eye on it, and uh, an hourglass representing time. So on the side, and I'm sorry, I'm a little congested because I have a little cold, but I hope that doesn't make the video a little worse, I don't know. Daniel Madison presents, that's um, because he pre made it an Open Jones design. On the flaps it says that, or on the sides. And it says, um, distributed by Illusionist.com, San Rafael, Raphael, Rafat, oh, I can't speak anymore. Some place in California, 94901, made in the USA. The Illusionist Playing Card Company, and then on the top it says, Sleepers. On the flap it has the moon with a couple of stars and the sun. And on the sides it has the Madison Presents logo, uh, over here and the Open Jones design logo. There's nothing on the inside of the box. The box has a, it's like a linen tuck case. It's really cool. So that's another reason to buy this. Okay, so I did, uh, I have opened this and shuffled it so it's not in deck order. Okay, I cut in the head in the video because first my uh, record time was down to two minutes because my battery, I mean my memory card is full. Then my battery died and then I decided after I turned my camera back on that I should organize the cards, so that's what I did. Um, so this is it. I organized all the cards by suit, and but first I'm going to show you all the extra cards you get. Now these are the jokers. The first joker is just an eye with a little, I guess that's a, like supposed to be its pupil, but it's a diamond. On the next one, it has a seven of spades in the center instead of the pupil. And the extra cards you get are a double backer and a gaff card. It's a king of diamonds on one card and an ace of spades on one side. I think I said I think I said um, card instead of side, but who cares? So this is the back design. In fact, I'll use one of these extra cards. Now this is the back design. It's really simple, but in a way complex. Now it has this really cool new age border, it's like a corner, except it's not, and then there's uh, an eye, yeah, I think it's a, 
Hmm, it's two-way. I'm pretty sure it's a two-way back. And you see that it, it looks like there's light coming from the eye. I don't know what that's supposed to be. If it's supposed to be eyelashes, leave a comment in the comment section if you do have an answer to that question so that everybody who's watching this video can see um, it. Okay, so let me separate these by suit. So first I'll do the clubs. Now this is the ace of clubs. It's very simplistic. There's two dot, three dots. There's no stem and they're sort of apart from each other. That's the same thing. And I'll, I'll actually put the court cards there because I'm going to get to those later. But it looks really cool. This looks like a beehive to me. And that's the nine of clubs, the eight of clubs, the seven of clubs, the six of clubs, the five of clubs, the four of clubs, the three of clubs, the two of clubs, and the ace of clubs. So I'll set those to the side. And here are the court cards. In fact, I think I'm going to save these for last um, because the court cards actually have messages, like little short sayings on them. Now the spade is two dots with a line in between them. Of course it's black because I didn't mention, I, I didn't really need to say that the clubs were black also, but ten of clubs, nine of clubs, spades, eight of spades, some of the spades, six of spades, five of spades, four of spades, three of spades, two of spades, and the ace of spades. And the ace of spades is like that eye except with a spade in the middle instead of a diamond. And it says printed in by the United States Playing Card Company. So there's the ace of spades for you. The next I'll set down the diamonds. The diamonds are really cool because they're simplistic. They're not just a diamond though. There's a little bit of a little bit of it hanging off there. And they're a richer, darker red as characteristic with most Madison decks. Um, there's nine of diamonds, eight of diamonds, seven of diamonds, six of diamonds, five of diamonds, four of diamonds, three of diamonds, two of diamonds, and the ace of diamonds. Now for the hearts. This is the ten of hearts. It's basically the reverse of a spade if I turn it over on this side. It looks exactly like a spade, except it's red. And again, it's that dip, deeper, darker, richer red. And here are all of the hearts. And the ace of hearts. Looks really cool. <coughs> okay, now for the court cards, they each have a message on them. And I think I've been holding these upside down. Um... Now this one says, okay, I'm going to have to read these this way because they're hard to read from the other way. Okay, it says, the Jack of Hearts says, sleep is sweet to the laboring man, which is sort of true. And it says, JB on the bottom. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. If you do know what it's supposed to mean, leave it below in the comments. This says C R and it says the Queen of Hearts says in happy dreams I hold you full in night and it's cool because there's the Queen of Hearts and there's this little shadow. Now this King of Hearts says sleep sleep in thy sleep little sorrows sit and weep and some of these sayings I have no idea what they mean some of them I do but it's all about sleep or death or something like that. Now the Jack of Diamonds, moving on to the diamonds, says Tiger got to sleep, bird got to land. Okay. Okay, that makes no sense. And then it says KV on the bottom. And there it is. There's, I guess those are supposed to be eyelids and a clock. The Queen of Diamonds says, what hath night to do with sleep? Okay, um, I guess it doesn't have much to do with sleep because some people sleep in the daytime, I guess. That's what it's supposed to mean. I'm not going to try to explain these because that's what I did in the last deck review. Now, the King of Diamonds is the only card that is shown awake. And it says, only in his death can a king live forever, which is really cool because 
that is sort of true in some ways. And it has a really cool reveal here. It says Nine of Clubs on his palm, but you can barely tell it is his palm because it's all weird. Now here on the Jack of Spades, it says, And all hearts were chilled into a selfish prayer for light. And it says GGB on the bottom. And, yep, yeah, that looks cool. It says AH right there. It says, Nightmares follow you, follow you like a shadow forever. There you are. There's the Queen of Spades. And there's like a little shadow guy there. And the King of Spades says, Fear not the night, but what it hides. Which is another sort of, sounds like a profound saying. There it is. And the Jack of Clubs says, we're now onto the clubs, which is the last suit. It says, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. And it's using like all this like old English. I can't understand it. Uh, okay. WS says there, sorry for that. Um, you will never want to live again, only to dream, dream forever, which is weird. It says AD on the bottom. Um, all that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. Okay. So if you ever want to, like, creep somebody out, just go up to them and say, like, anything that's on here. Like, you could just be, like, think about it. Like, if you were at a friend's house and, um, you just, like, the first thing you did, you're, like, showed up at his door. And then the first thing you said was, like, all that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. Okay. You'd probably not have a friend anymore, but, um, yeah. Okay. That's, that's depending on whether your friends are loyal or don't care if you're weird or not. But the <laughs> staying on track is um, a good thing to do right now. The stock is the same as with all the decks that I've done, except for a couple. It's really cool. It, um, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Dribbles well. The finish is really great spreads out. This deck looks pretty cool when you like fan it evenly. I didn't do a very good fan then. Hold on, let me try that. There, it looks really cool. And yeah, I would rate this deck a 9 out of 10. The only th problem I have with it is, well, I can't come up with any problem with it, but for some reason I don't feel like this deck is worth a 9, I mean a 10 out of 10. So I, I'm gonna rate it a 9 out of 10 and that's pretty good. I don't do that very often. But, yep, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this deck review. This has been the last of my 10 weeks of cards deck review. And, yeah, this is the last 10 weeks of cards series episode. But it is not the last deck review I will do. I have a couple more lined up for me to upload and share with you. I think, uh, just to give you a sneak peek, it's the um, Artisans White and Crowns Red, um, both by the USPCC Artisans is Theory 11, but I'll let you check that out yourself when I upload it. But those won't be the last deck reviews either. I will keep on buying decks of cards to show you through the internet. But yeah, it's been a really good 10 weeks. Well, it's not really been 10 weeks because I had to upload three videos today just to meet my quota because I'm not going to be able to upload the next three weeks. But yeah, thanks for watching this series. If you are watching this video without watching the other series, it would be good, um, the other episodes and deck reviews. There is a link in the bottom to my previous deck review, and from there you can always look in the bottom of the description, and you can go previous or next. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe, like the video, comment, and I will see you again next time.